moving towards next generation networks it is going to be quite interesting to look at how the traditional internet has been shaped up in this module we'd look at some of the enabling technologies we also call them as enablers that helped us to sh look at internet how it is shaped as of today then we'd look at the confluence of different net networks such as voice video and data onto a single internet platform that makes internet to be like a socket we'd look at all these terminologies here to begin with internet did not appear in overnight it evolved from typical communications and communication technologies that strongly pushed the transmission of data between users for various applications the users got excited when they realized that internet can be used as a means to transfer any kind of data between any user as long as data is represented in packets and as long as it complies to certain protocols which are the essentials of the internet internet saw that the existing networks which were supporting telephony data video and audio and of course messaging were living in isolation for instance pstns were there for voice for mobile we had plms for data we had these beeper networks for video we had the cable and the satellite networks for audio we had the audio broadcasting stations as in fm and am broadcasting stations and messaging was also supported through for instance beepers so internet realized that if all these technologies could be translated into packetized data streams internet could provide a means for sharing this information amongst a variety of users so slowly we saw that the heterogeneous networks living in isolation disappeared and internet came in the forefront of course the beauty of internet is that it allows various devices with different sizes shapes and form factors can coexist as long as they are compatible with the internet and internet does not care or doesn't bother much about what is the transmission medium radio fiber optic or electrical conductors could all be integrated into the internet this leads us to considering internet as a socket if you recall in the electrical systems we have the power plugs and the sockets which when joined together result into the usage of electrical appliances for a variety of purposes here too internet act internet acts like a socket where regardless of the underlying infrastructure regardless of the type of data which is to be carried internet provides a seamless means the strength of internet that allows it to do so primarily owes to the protocols especially at the network layer and the upper layers for the lower layers it is only a matter of integrating the underlying medium through a proper hardware technology